Essay on Untouchables and Untouchability Social by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Chapter 4, Part 29 They accordingly had recourse to him and their eyesight was restored. Aurava, however, meditated to the destruction of all living creatures in revenge for the slaughter of the Brigus and entered on the course of austerities which alarmed both gods, asuras and men. But his progenitors, Pitris themselves appeared and sought to turn him from his purpose by saying that they had no desire to be revenged on the Kshatriyas. It was not from weakness that the devout Brigus overlooked the massacres perpetrated by the murderous Kshatriyas. When we became distressed by old age, we ourselves desired to be slaughtered by them. The money which was buried by someone in the Brigus' house was placed there for the purpose of being of exciting hatred by those who wished to provoke the Kshatriyas. For what had me, who was desiring heaven, to do with money? They added that they hit upon this device because they did not wish to be guilty of suicide and concluded by calling upon Aurava to restrain his wrath and abstain from the sin he was meditating. Destroy not the Kshatriyas or sun nor the seven worlds. Suppress thy kindled anger which nullifies the power of austere fervor. Aurava, however, replied that he cannot allow his threat to remain unexecuted. His anger, unless wreaked upon some other object, will, he says, consume himself. And he argues on grounds of justice, expediency, and duty against the clemency which his progenitors recommend. He is, however, persuaded by the Pitris to throw the fire of his anger into the sea, where they say it will find exercise in assailing the watery element, and in this way his threat will be fulfilled. The end.